everybody ran into the ring and everything, but if there were 10 seconds left, is there a scenario where you could clear everybody out and say, I know, I know it's only 10 seconds, but just in theory, could you do that for the rules? I, I guess in theory I could, yeah. Okay. It's never happened before, so I don't know. How much, just to clarify, how much time is left, Tiffany? Four seconds. Four, we're talking about four seconds, four right? Seconds Not ten. Left four seconds. Four seconds. It was a special night at the StubHub Center as HBO Boxing was celebrating the broadcast of their 1,000th pro fight, headlined by Timothy Bradley going up against Jesse Vargas. For us, it was extra special because we were invited to a special media day event by the California State Athletic Commission where we were able to shadow the commission guys around all day, talk to the referees, go into the locker rooms, even score a couple fights ringside, we were really, really lucky to be able to sit in the red corner with Timothy Bradley's people. All in all, it was a great night at StubHub Center, as usual. So Tim Bradley gets the unanimous decision over Jesse Vargas. For Vargas, it's his first loss as a pro, but he put up a very good fight and almost had Bradley out of there at the end. We'll talk more about that in a second. First, I want to give you some punch numbers, and they're actually really interesting because it was pretty, pretty close. Bradley landed 232 of 676 shots, 34% overall. Vargas landed 203 of 630 shots, 32% overall. So like I said, very, very close. The difference was in the power punching. Bradley landed 143 of 347 power punches, 41% connect percentage. For Vargas, he landed 109 of 335, 33%. That's respectable, but Bradley just seemed to have that edge, especially with the body work. I thought Bradley got the better work throughout much of the early and middle rounds. Toward the end of the fight, Vargas seemed to kind of have a second wind, and Bradley started to look a little bit older to me. He kind of got on his bike, he started to dance a little bit more and just tried to work off his jab, but he was starting to get caught. Now, he got caught in the final round. I, I believe it was maybe 15, 20 seconds left to go. Referee Pat Russell thought he heard the bell sound, but he was actually hearing the 10-second snap, the ch -ch -ch at the 10-second mark. So when he said, hey, fight's over, Jesse Vargas thought Pat was stopping the fight because Bradley was so badly hurt, and there was a little bit of confusion ringside. We didn't know what was going on immediately. It, it took a second, but then we figured it out. Russell just didn't hear when the, the bell sounded. And at the end of the day, I know some fans of Jesse Vargas are a little upset, but there was only four seconds left, I believe, in the fight. Bradley didn't go down. He was badly hurt, but he, I don't think he was going to get knocked out. And Bradley won the fight. I scored a 116-112. He did enough to clearly, decisively take this. I don't think there's a need for a rematch. Personally, I'd rather see Bradley go up against Provodnikov again right here. But either way, that's the way it goes in the books. Bradley gets the unanimous decision over Vargas in a very entertaining fight here at StubHub.